Please don't skip this video. Watch this video to the end. This video might be the video that you have been waiting for. This video that might be the video that will change your thinking, your finance, that problem that you are passing through. This video that you are listening to now that you are watching might be the video that will change the situation of your family, that will change the situation of your barrenness, that will change the situation of your marriage. That marriage that you are about to pack out from. This video might be the video that will help you. I have come to announce to you, is there any problem you are passing through? Is there any tribulation you are going through? Is there any trial you are going through? Is there is there any tight corner the enemy is taking you through? My brothers and sisters, this is the time, this is the days that Jesus was describing in the Bible that the end time shall come. And once the end time come, tribulation upon tribulation, troubles upon trouble, trouble, troubles, family against family, fathers against son, son against father, mothers against daughter, daughters against calamity will be coming. What are the calamities? It's not a physical battle. It is not a physical fight. It is not a physical fight with father and mother. But it is a problem that the whole family will be passing through and you will not see anybody to rescue you. Now I have come to tell you that the Bible says, I think it's Amos 3 verse 7, he said, God himself, almighty God, as big as God, he will not do anything to die your problem. He will not do anything to die your situation. But he reveal it to a prophet. He will not do anything to that that cry, that pain that you are passing through. He will not do anything. He will not say anything. He will not come to help you. Even if you have to pray all through the night, he can only sustain it. The prayer that you are praying can only sustain you. But it will not cure the case. He said, God himself will not do anything except he reveal it to his son. The prophet is not talking about the son, the teacher. He's not talking about the son, the the, 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 the healer. But he said the son, the prophet. I am not condemning the fivefold ministry, the teaching ministry, the prophetic, the deliverance ministry, and other ministry. But I'm talking about what the Bible said. He said that he revealed it to the son, the prophet. So my brothers and sisters, whatever you think you are passing through today, whatever sickness that you are passing through, that you have taken medications, you have gone through so many churches, keep going to churches, keep going to that church, that church, that church, that there is a prophet that can help you. Because it's, a, it's the Bible that said it, that you will reveal to the prophet, before the prophet will now tell you, this is what God is saying. What am I saying in essence? Look for a prophet that can help you in this your circumstances. Look, look for a prophet that can help you in this your situation. All the problems that are having now ground on my table is a lady being used by a guy. It's a problem being used, being caused by a woman, by a guy. Because the hate time is near. Girls, I am not saying you should not do your work. I am not saying you should not continue with your Run's work that you are doing, continue. But just know that ritualists and every other person that is looking for quick money, they are close to you. They are near you. They are using your body. They are using your glory. They are using your blood to make money. Be wise. Look for a prophet that will always guide you on what to do, on how to live your life. Don't live your life anyhow. This world is too wicked. You must be a fool and ignorant for you to live your life without the spiritual aspect of it. Because this life itself is spiritual. Don't live your life like that. Be close to God. Be close to God. Be close to God. Don't be close to the devil. Devil is not happy with what you are doing. He's not happy that you are happy. What he does is wants to make you cry. He wants to make you sad. He wants to make you run at a scatter. He wants to make you go gaga. He wants you to come and embrace him. He doesn't want you to enter that place. He doesn't want you to enter the place of your rest. He doesn't want you to be happy with whatever you are doing. He doesn't want you to be to live comfortable life. He wants you to stay, to live under his nosery. He wants you to suffer. He wants you to remain in that pain. But me, I'm telling you that God wants you to be happy in life. Share this video and make sure this video goes viral. God will still answer that your prayer. Give me a DM and let us lead you to where 
your problem can be solved. Thank you very much. I still remain humble, welcome in the Assessor, the Master Planner.